Hi, my name is Jerry, and I am a twin trawler boat owner. Many people have built a casting platform for their twin trawlers, but not everybody I have spoken with wants to use a casting platform to stand on to fish. There are other purposes for it that seem pretty clear to me that would be very useful. Uh, one to make a bench to work on, either for the person that's in the front or if you have a second person with you, for the person in the back. So I am going to do that kind of an idea, but it will have a little bit of a twist, different than what I've seen anybody else do. So stay with me, watch me build it, and see what it looks like when we get all done. In the description below this video, there are links to most of the items used in many of my videos. They are there so you can locate them in case you are interested. So don't forget to subscribe or give me a thumbs up, click on the bell, share with your friends, or leave comments and questions below. Well, let's take some measurements of the boat so that we can figure out what size we want. Clearly, I want to put one here but it's the same dimensions here as it is in the back of the boat. Here's a tape measure to go from the outside there to the outside of here is just about 28 and a quarter inches. Well, I want it to overlap just a hair, so let's add an inch to it. So it'd be half inch more on that side, half inch this side, 29 and a quarter inches is the width that we want to do. So now we need to start to build it. Let's go do that. The batteries are charged. All right, what other tools do we have with us? Well, I've got a two by eight, an eight footer, uh, a one by four, eight footer, I've got a tape measure. I've got uh, a piece of metal to use as a straight edge if I want to. I've got a speed square for doing speed square stuff. <laughs> I got a pencil. I have a metal ruler, and you're gonna see this used in this project. I have uh, carpeting from uh, marine application for a boat. I've got some hook eyes and they have little rings in them. So I got a pair of those. I have spray adhesive and I'll show you what all this is about. So what are we going to do first? Well, we're going to cut the two by eight into 29 and one quarter inches and I want two of them. All right, 29 and a quarter inches. 29 and a quarter inches. All right, walk a straight line using our speed square. Twenty-nine and a quarter. Both of them exactly, 29 and a quarter. These are the two boards, 29 and a quarter. The backside's got a knot in it. 
I'm gonna cover this anyway. Another knot on this side. I'm gonna have this side and this side up. I don't know if you remember this from my video where I painted my PVC pipe on the back end of the twin troller where I had the transducers. Well, it's kind of closely matched the boat. Not exactly, but I'm going to paint the edges and the sides just for cosmetic reasons, nothing more. Now this paint is good for wood in addition to everything else. Now when this dries, I'll flip it over and do the other side. These are the only spots that are really gonna show. And you'll see what I mean when I get done. Okay, I want three inches wide of this material. You'll see why later, but trust me, that's what I want, three inches. Now I want it to be really straight. So I marked out three inches, put a little notch here, cut it. And I'm using this piece of steel to line me up all the way down so I can cut it exactly the way how I want it. I sharpen my knife really sharp. All right, straight as I can get it. I'm going to have to measure the other section that I want on the top, but I gotta wait till that dries a little so I can handle it. The other side's dry. I flipped it over, let's paint it again. Okay, let's let that dry. I forgot to turn the camera back on, but what I did here was cut the carpet and the metal ruler to the correct 29 and a quarter inch length. Then I sprayed the adhesive to the board and the back of the carpet pieces. I waited at least a minute for the glue to tack up and then flipped over the carpets, set them in place, and I put the ruler in the middle and screwed that in place also. The directions on the can say that you cannot reposition the item once you stick them together and believe me that's a pretty accurate statement because i tried it here is what i'm trying to make and this allows me to put a fish in the middle of the board and to measure it and that way i don't have to drag along extra measuring boards as you can see, I have a couple of them well used, but I'm trying to reduce the number of things I have to carry in the boat. By doing it this way, I can leave those home. This also allows me to take pictures or video of the fish as it's lying on the board. The other board is also seven and a quarter inches wide, so I need to cut a piece of carpet to fit on that also. Seven and a quarter inches wide seven and a quarter. I already measured that out and I put a little notch here. Now, how do I get this cut in a straight line so that I've got it the way how I wanted? And I'm gonna put this in a line. See these ribs? I'm gonna follow the line right on down and use this piece of metal to keep me on track. Now I gotta hold this metal piece just so it doesn't move. And I'm gonna cut it. Push down hard. That came out good. Okay. I possibly could have left one more rib on it, but I didn't want to get frayed on the end. So we are looking pretty good. Now we just got to cut it to the board length and I'm going to do it the easy way. Use this as my edge. There we go. Hopefully that fits. Well, that fits pretty good. Now we're going to glue it. And if you watch, it comes out almost like Spider-Man. I 
Okay, so that's the back side of the material. Okay, it's been about a minute. I'm gonna put this material on. Now it also says in the can, you really can't reposition this. So once they kind of go together, they're there. Okay. Uh, not too bad. A little bit off in a corner, but that's okay. Now I want to flatten that out. I'll take the other one, same size, set it on top of it. I'll use that to push down with it. And I want this to all harden, so I'll set that over the side and I have something to do. That ruler was 36 inches long. It's an aluminum ruler and it has more length than I need. I only need 29 and a quarter inches to make the full length. So I cut it off. This is a piece that's left over. I cut off an end. Uh, I rounded it and you'll see why. Rounded the other end even more. Drilled a hole in the end. And if I get this to stay, I'll show you why I'm doing that. And I want to paint this. Let's let that dry. And then I'll flip it over. I'll paint it again and put another coat on here if I need it. It dried on the other side. Let's paint this side. I have a fan going and it's blowing it around. So I have this ruler here. To measure fish with but what is this thing well let me show you i drilled a hole just the right size i have a pilot hole right here i'm right-handed so i'm going to turn this around let me adjust this for tightness this goes down like this i catch a fish i stand this up I set my fish down, set him down, and his nose can't go any farther. Now I can kind of hold him with one hand, take a picture with the other if I had to. Maybe he'll even lay down here without thrashing around. And then when I'm not using this, I fold it down out of the way. I have one of those boards that you lay down, the plastic thing to measure a fish. It's even I have a couple of them. It's got this built into it. Uh, I like this better. I don't have to carry another item. I just carry these. If I'm going to take these with me, I'm already set up for this. And if this gets a little loose, all I have to do is tighten that one little screw. Just a hair. And now I can work it up and down. And I beveled the edges just so that it wasn't so much of a sharp pointy edge so that if I bump into it, I'm not bothered by it too much and it disappears right over here. Now, to me, I would use this the most. Let's say I'm using live bait, golden shiners, that kind of thing, where I'm going to set up, camp, stop, take pictures. I'm looking for bigger fish. so. That's part of the reason why I'm doing this, but I could use it anytime. You probably wonder what these were, or maybe not. This is a two inch positive lock, stainless steel gate hook and eye. They look like this. This has a little keeper on it to keep it locked so it doesn't fall off or... And what are I gonna use that for? Well, these are two separate boards. Right? The whole idea is that I don't necessarily want to use this as a casting platform, but what if I did? That's where these come in. 
I attached this keeper, that's the swing arm here, and then at the right distance, I screwed in the other eye that goes with it. So if I want to use this as a casting platform, I lock the two of them together. I have to put this in on the other side and that will lock the two of them together so that they won't separate while I'm standing on it. And I get to me the best of both worlds. The times that maybe I would like to use this, I will have this capability. Now I've got another hook eye like this. I'm going to attach it over here so that when this is not in use, when this is in the back, uh, by the back seat, this will have an, a, uh, a, a hook eye here to attach this to so it won't be dangling all over the place getting caught on fishing rods or things like that. I have to put on this end. How do you go about doing this? So I want it about halfway and this will be stretched out like that. So I want it right about here. So I'm going to mount this one first. That's where I want it. I put my little mark to know where I want it, see? And then I hand screw this in. It will go in. And I'm going to screw it in as far as I can. Like this. Now that eye has to be like this and not like this, okay? So this will swing and go like this. This has got to go on here like this and tight on the ring. And I want it right about here. I'm pushing in, making a little indentation. started keep pushing in and turning at the same time you could use pliers but I did this done. Now same situation I want this to be horizontal not vertical like that. So let's see how this will work. Put this here, put this here, this swings over, catches on here, that keeps it locked I do the exact same thing to this uh, other side. Now the whole thing is locked together. It won't come undone. Of course, it's sitting on the deck. Now it's into one big piece. But I can take this apart and just use this part if I'm not into using this as a giant platform. Because it's kind of big. This gives me the versatility to do it either way. Now what's the purpose of the one by four? What's the purpose of I didn't show you this, some tubing. Uh, this is bicycle tube. Well, flip this over. 29 and a quarter inches is the full length of the board, but it's 28 and a quarter inches to the edges of that rib that it sits on in the, in the twin troller. So half, I added an extra inch, so half inch on this side will sit on that uh, rail uh, on the twin troller and I want to do something that will protect it. So that's what this is for. Now this is way wider than a half inch so if I fold this on a seam, I don't know if you can see this too well, fold this on a seam, there's a seam that runs right here, it's exactly a half inch. So I'm going to take this I'm going to try my best to cut this right down that half inch seam. Well, that worked pretty good. And I need at least, so I need one on each side, and they've got to be at least seven and a quarter inches if I wanted it to go full length. Let me cut them at least 14 or so inches so I can make two sets. So 
So if I glue this down, this needs to be seven and a quarter to the edge. I don't have to go all the way to the edge, but pretty close. I'm going to tuck it just a corner in, and a little bit here. There. There's two. So now I've got enough for two sets, one on each side of the this board, one on each side of the other board. We want to put down this um, rubber, but I need this folded in half because I want it twice as thick so that it can stay like that in half because it's going to go on this edge half inch like this. So how am I going to do this to glue these together? Open this up. One's been a minute, so it should. Oh yeah, that did work good. Okay, let's get it right about in the middle. Seal it. All four of them are doubled over. How do I put glue on the back side of this, the boards? Well, I get it all over and not getting it down the side where I have my little things there. So I put some cardboard here to block this. I pretty much got these, the width of these, and okay, and I want the folded over, over side on the inside. So I want to glue it on this side and this side. Okay, I'll let those tack up just a second and we'll put them on. Okay, it's been a little bit more than a minute. Get it started right on the edge where I want it. They have a little bit of bow to them, so I, I get this started, then I can straighten them out. Okay, there's that one. And I'm going to use this to push it down on both edge. Then we just got to do the other side. I need to cut this one by four so it will keep the board from sliding this way and this way. I have adjusted my saw to be 45 degree angle so that when it is sticking out the edge, it won't be ab abrupt. It'll be more angled. All I got to do now is attach these boards to here. I don't want to do these here. I'm going to have to take this thing over to the twin troller, set it in place, and then put these where they belong and use them, mark them so that I can get them in the right place. If I got it too far like this, it won't sit. If I got it too far, it'll wiggle too much. So we're done as far as this all goes. And I kind of painted the ends just to make them a little prettier. So now we have both pieces in the boat. Let me show you what I did to get those on these. Okay, I set these in place before I put those cleats on, made sure it even spaced on left and right. I took one of those pieces, put it underneath here and pushed it all the way here and got it tight, but not really tight. Squeezed it until I flipped it over. Then I screwed the two screws in. I did the same thing over there. I did the same thing on these two and now I'm good to go. So they sit right in. If I want them to lock together, I lock them here. And if I want to put them in the back, then they come back here. And here goes the other one. So the person in the back now has uh, a workbench to work from. You know what to do. If you like the video, push that button and subscribe, ring that bell, give me a thumbs up, 
or leave some comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye now.